just wondering what you do for a living. I'm a congressman. Are you kidding? I'm Charlie Wilson. I represent the Texas Second Congressional Committee. <laughs> the Washington Times wants to know if you've ever been in rehab. Well, what are you going to tell them? That you won't go to rehab because they don't serve whiskey there. I need someone with diplomatic skills. You don't have them. Is that right? God damn it! This is six wealthiest woman in Texas. I have been passionately involved with the cause of the Afghans. Exactly how much power do you have as a member of the subcommittee? Eight members and myself hand out 11 billion in foreign assistance. Would you like to see my room? Yeah. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to save Afghanistan for the Afghans. And in so doing, in the Cold War. Why don't we just start back at the beginning? What can I do for you? A war, they say, that if they get weapons from us, they will win. What is U.S. strategy in Afghanistan? Well, strictly speaking, we don't have one, but we're working hard on that. Who's we? Me and three other guys. I want you to go to Pakistan and meet with Zia. Bye. Bye. We love you. Mr. President? Your CIA has an unimpressive track record. I wouldn't say that. They missed 130,000 Soviet soldiers walking into Afghanistan. Okay, we, we blew that call. I need airplanes, guns, and money. You want to put $80 million in the hands of these people? If you took a trip with me to the border, you'd stop calling them these people. A sudden influx of money would draw attention. This is the Cold War. Everybody knows about it. The covert ops budget. Double it. I'm sorry, sir? And double it. Consider it done. Excellent. You have authority to do this? None whatsoever. How is it possible that this congressman is doing this by himself? You want to move Israel toward a partnership with Pakistan and Afghanistan. And Saudi Arabia. Well, just a couple of problems I can foresee you know, off the top of my head. Can we get you a drink? Oh, I'd love any kind of whiskey. We don't have alcohol in the presidential residence. Bet a lot of people make that mistake. <laughs> no.